Hello everyone, I'm sitting uh, at the booth Orly and I'm very honored to sit with Sam Vidal. She's an amazing artist and today she's going to share with us a quick demo and a little chat with her. Hi Sam. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good, how about you? Very good, it's good to see you again. I'm very well, thank you. Um, I'm a big fan of your work and I've been following you knowing that you're very busy and you have a online education um, so can you talk to us or tell us and share with us a little bit about that and um, what you've been doing lately with with that well we we are actually just coming out of our beta program so i have been working on it for two years we have been alive and we've been going we've got over 250 members and um, right now we are about to it, it, it be official, I suppose. So on the 7th of February, I actually, the price of it will go up. The moment we're still on beta mode. So if you want to join the online program. So let me tell you what it's about. Yes, please. It, it literally is our year's worth of education. So you get lessons every two weeks and you, um, you watch the lessons in your own time. There's no deadlines whatsoever. And then you post your work on the classroom. There's classrooms for each lesson. And then I give you feedback. So I'll work with you, I'll mentor with you. So say, for instance, you are one of my members. And you'll be like, Sam, this is what I want to do. I want to go into a competition. I'll be like, work through the program. And then I'll know what you want. So I'll tell you where you need to improve. So I'm mentoring you and we're working together. It's like having a one-to-one -one online with me for 12 months for, well, I don't know how much it is in dollars, it's 150 pounds, but it's about 185 dollars until the 6th of February. So, um, it's, I'm so proud of it. And there's two years worth of training. So there's, there's so many hours worth of training, so much information. Definitely, if you get interested and you want to take your skill to the next level, please follow her and take her class. And can you repeat that website again, please? So the website is www.sambiddle.online. Did you guys get that? But of course, I'm going to write that below when we edit this, so um, we make sure everybody can follow you. So today, what are you sharing with us? So I'm going to do something abstract. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to do something abstract. We, we've already got chrome on, so or holographic chrome. So we're going to use gel polish, and we're going to do an abstract design over the top. Oh, good. Okay. I'm just going to use the black straight over the top of this uh, chrome just to create my structure. And it literally is, if I use my brush, if I press my brush down, I'm going to get a thicker line. And if I raise my brush high, I get a thin line. So it's really important to understand how your brush moves and how you can change how your design looks, okay? So this is all gel polish, this is Orly gel polish. I choose to use Orly over anyone else because it's a pure gel. So it actually is so much easier to use with nail art and nail design. This palette has been out all day. So I have, I took all the um, colors out that I wanted for the day and I've had this out all day. So it doesn't set, it doesn't uh, do anything unless you put it underneath the lamp. So I'm just gonna pop this straight underneath the lamp just to give me a flash cure and then we'll come in and do some magic to it. So I'm just mixing the grey, I'm just going to get some more grey in here. You're making like a shadow? Yeah. So what's going to happen is that, well hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we'll end up with the holographic chrome underneath the shadow. create 
texture, blending. We'll just get lighter and lighter. Ideally, this should give us an almost 3D effect. That's what I'm hoping for. I've not done this before. <laughs> Thank God this is alive. So you can see what I'm doing with the gel. Very fine strokes, small fine strokes. There's not a lot of gel on the brush. What happens sometimes... What happens is that when people start doing gel art, they start picking up a really large bead of gel. Yeah? And then they start trying to do art and design with it, but we don't want that. We want to use it like paint. So you want small, small, small amount of gel on your brush and we use it like a paint. such a solid line so I can just come in a little bit more with this just want to give it more definition. yeah it just crisps up those lines we're just gonna come in and so really what you want to do when you're doing the fine line, especially with acrylic, is you're really just using the very point of your brush. You see? It's only the point of my brush that's touching the surface of the nail. So if I lay my brush down flat, then actually it, uh, see that's flat, see how thick the line is? So the point of my brush, a little bit of water. So really the shape doesn't change. One thing we tend to do, especially as artists, is we overcomplicate our designs. And what we do is we add more and more and more and then we'll go, ooh, let's now add a stripe or let's add a dot or let's do this or let's do that. And the problem with that is, is it becomes so busy because there's a, a wiggle here and then there's this shape there. And if we're repeating over and over and over, it was very elegant and simple. And remember, we have the chrome underneath. And the chrome is going to just pop through. Hopefully. Hopefully. So you can see that I'm just repeating and repeating and repeating the pattern. Yeah? So I think I'm going to, I can't stop. I'm going to stop now.
that last of that gel and then we'll top coat it and hopefully the magic will happen. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Just as the gel top coat. Wow. Isn't that lovely with the ribbons? Yeah. Doesn't it look 3D? Yeah. I'm so happy. <laughs> so it looks like it's just sitting on top of a with all the ribbons. Just we're gonna put it under the lamp for 30 seconds. That's the one thing about the um, the Orly gel polish top coat I've, that I've noticed going around and everyone's wearing chrome and the holograms and all that. And then that I've been doing art on top and just by adding that top coat from Orly it just makes it a lot shinier. It's one of the best top coats that you can use to keep the shine. Oh my God. No, I and I have tried many 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 top coats but I would say it's the best one for shine but you know that super super shine take off that inhibition layer a little bit of oil oh I've lost my oil That's it, that's our completed look. Thank you so much, Sam. Can you believe this? She only whipped this off less than 10 minutes. So thank you so much. You are amazing. <laughs> thank you very much, thank you. Thank you for coming to visit me. Like always, and it's a pleasure. <laughs>